Guys, welcome to Christmas. Not only is it a great part of town, it's all black. There's kind of just plastic on the other side. This is Christmas Cosmetic. Have you ever had a place where you get dropped off? And you got a fancy valet service. Oh, yeah. Here you have our waiting room. Very nice supportive. Maggie is here. Either Maggie or Lena. Abigail could be here. We have our uh, reels. Very nicely done waiting room. Nice red carpet for you guys, of course. And uh, after you come here, you're going to sit down and you're going to be broad. You're going to start to get your paperwork done here. And we're going to bring you in the pre -operative. Come on with me. So here's our waiting area, pre-operative area. This is where you're going to sit. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring all your belongings. And you're going to take off all your clothes, except for your underwear. And you're going to put on these non-slip socks. You're going to put on these Ted hose for circulation. This hat, this paper gown. We have this lovely uh, bag worth a million dollars. Just kidding. For all your belongings. And then we're going to come in here. We're going to close the curtain. The nurse is going to start an IV on you. Yes, start an IV. Don't worry. 100% of people get IVs that come through here. Unless there's something wrong and we can't even have, we can't have the surgery, but you need an IV for the IV drugs. Once the nurse sees you, they'll start to look at your paperwork and match you with the paperwork. And once we uh, get the paperwork, we match you with the paperwork. I'll come, I'll sit here and I'll start marking you. Anesthesiologists will come talk to you so you can meet your anesthesiologist and all of them are cool as hell. Uh, they'll tell you exactly how they're gonna put you to sleep. And after that, we're gonna wheel you into the OR and let me bring you to the OR. So here we go, here's the OR. For one of our ORs, we have three. As you can see, you're gonna come in here, it's a beautifully appointed OR. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down here, your head's gonna be at the top. is gonna to talk to you again, and remember that IV we started in, in the preoperative area. He's gonna give you some, some uh, what we call liquid courage, or a liquid margarita. That's gonna make you sleepier. And when you get to the point where you can't feel what we're doing, or know that he's even there, he'll slip a laryngeal mask through to the back of your throat, or we'll put a tube all the way down. Really depends on him, but most of the people don't need a full tube. They can just get a mask that goes in the back of your throat, never makes it, has to make it down the, the uh, trachea, so you don't have the, the sore throat. Our anesthesiologists are really good at this. They're 25 to 33 year guys, so they're super experienced at it. After you get done, after we put the tube in, we're gonna prep you with a special soap, that that's an antibacterial soap. And after we prep you, we then put some uh, we put some drapes around you. They call me in and I start the surgery. I finish the surgery. We put dressings on, and we take you by by uh, the, from the surgery onto a stretcher and back to recovery. And you'll come back most likely to the same place you started. Your significant other should be there by now. After you see, we talk to your significant other because we can't talk to you because you can't remember what we're going to say. That's why we need someone here. We're gonna take you and your significant other out this way and we're gonna show you how you're gonna get loaded into your car. This is the area where you get loaded into your car. You can remember the valet service is here. Your car will pull up here and we'll bring you out by a wheelchair, load you into your car, you have a nice exit right on the Stone Oak Park Road. We're going to go home. That night, I want you to take it real easy. Maybe take some soups, some broth, uh, nothing more than mashed potatoes. Uh, I would have burgers and fries and pizza, of course. Maybe the next night, you've got to breathe all that gas out. No showering for two days. So that every area along your breast can seal. If you've had no breast surgery, none. You said lipo, you could shower the next day, but anything involving a breast, you should wait two days to shower. You're gonna shower by taking everything off. You're gonna shower by taking everything off and uh, you're naked. And then you're gonna shower with your back to the shower. Water's gonna hit the back side and it's gonna come cascading to the front. You're gonna pat dry, blow dry, and then you're gonna put maxi pads on and you're wrapped. At the first week after surgery, you're gonna see my nurse practitioner 
and she will fit you for either broth or a faja. And we'll see you right along. Thanks again for coming to our Christmas tour.